CapCut just dropped three brand new AI tools and honestly, they are game changers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how each one works and how you can use them to edit faster, smarter and way more attractive. Whether you are making YouTube videos, TikToks or Instagram Reels, those tools will seriously upgrade your edits. Enough talking, let's get straight into the tutorial. So let's create a new project. Now with the new CapCut version we got this new option here under the import section. And the one we'll check out today is AI Media which you can also access it here. And as you can see we have AI Image, AI Video and AI Dialogue scene. But the first one we'll try is AI Image. Here we can type our own prompt or you can search through showcases here. You can search in three tabs, landscape, city and anime. So if you find something you really like, just click here, use prompt and the prompt will be copied to the prompt section. Of course you can tweak the prompt to your desires and needs. But for this case I have my own prompt. I would like to generate a roaring lion standing on the top of the mountain as if he was calling all the other animals to get together. At the model here we have three options, image 3.0, 3.1 and 2.0 Pro, but I will leave it at image 3.0. Aspect ratio I will go with 16 by 9 because we are creating a YouTube video and we hit generate and wait for the process to end. Here we go. Now as you see on the top right corner we have 4 AI images. Go through and just choose which one you like the most. I will go with this one. You can trim the duration of the photo and you can also adjust it if you need to. I will also go to video and enhance the quality of the image a little bit. Now let's go and copy this image because we will generate another image. I will insert a new prompt where I would like to generate other animals marching towards the lion location. Here we go. Let's see what we got. I like this one best. Let's copy the picture one more time and generate last picture for this tutorial. Here they are. I'll use this one. As we have all the pictures now, we can move to our next feature which is AI video. On the left side on the menu, click on AI video. On the top as you see we have image to video option and text to video where we type our prompt and it will generate the video of our prompt. But in our case, we will use image to video because we already generated all the images. We can import the image, but because we already have the pictures on our timeline, we can just right click on the picture and choose image to video option. Then we can write what we want from the picture. Lion walking slowly. At the model, we have video 4.0, 3.0 frames and 2.0 powered by runway. And because I know runway and how it works, I will go with that. Motion speed, we only have normal. Camera control, we only have default. In the duration, you can choose between 5 and 10 seconds. But be aware, if we go with 10 seconds, it will take you more credits to generate the video. So I will go with 5 and ratio 16 by 9. Click generate and wait for the process to end. Here we go. As you see, now we have on the right side, on the top, generated video and under that we have all AI generated pictures. Let us play the video so we see how it turned out. Just amazing. We can shorten the video if you want and adjust its colors.
Now we need to turn our other two pictures into the video, so we will repeat the same process as we did with our first picture. Ok, now we turned all our pictures into videos, so let us check how it turned out. For me it looks great, but there is one thing I would like to add. I will add just a little zoom to all the videos. So highlight the first video. Go up to video and click keyframe on transform at the beginning of the video. Then go to the end of this first video, one frame back and scale it a little bit. Then do the same for other two clips. With that we get a little more depth to our video. So let us see how our end product looks like. The third feature I would like to show you is a dialogue scene. On the top we have talk or sync tab and the react tab which are self-explanatory. Here we will upload a picture. In my case I'm using an image of Nikola Tesla. Then we'll enter the dialogue text that we want the person in the picture to say. So I will write I don't care if they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Below that dialog box, you can choose from many different voices. I, I don't care that they stole my idea dot 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 I care that they don't have any of their own. I don't care that they stole my idea, I care that they don't have any of their own. But note that if you don't have the text inside the box, you can't hear the voice. So always put text first. If you want more voices, click here and you can choose from TikTok, female, male voices and others. Because I have my own, I will import my own voice that I like. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Once you have selected voice, click generate and wait for the process to finish. Let's see how it turned out. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Wow, that looks really good. Look at these lips. They match the voice and dialogue text perfectly. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. The process is the same with the React tab. I will use the same picture as before. Here you can also set the duration and then click generate. From my testing, this option gives you only a small reaction from the person. And that's it! Those are the three brand new AI tools inside CapCut. Pretty crazy, right? If you're ready to take your edits to the next level, I've created a CapCut masterclass that walks you through everything from beginner basics to advanced pro editing. Just click the link in the description to get access. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more editing tips, and I'll see you in the next one.